All right, so we have finished all the theory about aromaticity. Now we're going to move on to the reaction. What can we do to functionalize benzene? Okay, but as you seen earlier in, uh, in this chapter that benzene is highly stable, uh, alk uh, and you guys know alkane is highly stable, you, you, you can do a reaction on them, right? Well, as stable as benzene, its benzylic position is susceptible to some reaction. Okay, the first one is oxidation of the benzylic position. Ah, oh, first off, where's the benzylic position of this compound? Benzene, right? The benzylic position is that, that one right there, the alpha position of the benzene ring, right? We can functionalize uh, this carbon, okay? To do that, so same reagent as the one you use in alcohol, sodium dichromate in sulfuric acid to produce a chromic acid. You can look up the structure of uh, uh, chromic acid if you like, right? What it does is uh, will cut whatever chain is on, on uh, this benzylic position and oxidize the benzylic position turn to be a carboxylic acid, just like that. Okay, now you cannot do this with a tertiary um, carbon, right? The reason is, well, <clears throat> the only requirement of this reaction is one benzylic proton. Okay, I don't have the mechanism for this reaction, but it goes something like this, right? So the first step, so imagine if this guy were to be um, the chromic acid. The first step involved pulling one hydrogen benzylic position, right? Benzylic proton of that uh, benzylic carbon. Without one pro, uh, one uh, without one hydrogens, this reaction cannot occur. Uh, as you can see right here, this is a potassium permanganate. So of course you can use potassium permanganate and heat up the reaction, the solution. You can do the same thing just like uh, chromic acid does at the top right here. Okay. Ah, let's try it right here. Uh, can you predict the product? Should be very simple. Uh, carbon down here has no proton, so this benzylic position is inert cannot be uh, oxidized, all right? This carbon right here, the alpha carbon at the top, um, I mean, benzylic carbon at the top got two protons on it. So you can pull one and you get the carboxylic acid. Whatever chain of, uh, of um, the benzylic carbon, you just ignore it, cut that carbon carbon bond right away, okay? All right, that's the first reaction. We can oxidize the benzylic uh, carbon. Move on to the next one we call benzylic bromination.